Hi there and welcome. On this video, I want to show how you can get a comprehensive ASR implementation report. I will do that in three steps. The first one is I want to show how you can deploy the ASR rules via MEM or Microsoft Endpoint Manager and then the place to generate a report and analyze the key information from the report. And finally, if needed, how you can implement the ASR exclusions. Anyway, stay with me and let me show all the steps. Okay, here I am on security.microsoft.com. And first of all, let me show all the devices I have enrolled into my lab, into the Defender for Endpoint. And then I will move on and show the policies and then finally the reports. As you can see, I have a bunch of servers enrolled here on Defender, servers 2012, 2019, 2016. And then for this demonstration, I will concentrate on these three Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 22, Windows 10 23 and 21, just the name I, I gave to them. On my lab, I've been uh, deploying the ASR rules for the servers via Grow Policy. And for these three Windows 10, I've been using MEM or Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Actually, let me show what I've done so far. Here from endpoint.microsoft.com, is the place where I can check and deploy the ASR policies. I need to go over the endpoint security. If I click in there, there are other policies I can create like antivirus, disk encryption, firewall, and so on. But right now, let me concentrate on attack surface reduction. If I click in here, uh, I could hit the button uh, create policy to start something from the scratch. But what I have done already is the Contoso ASR Windows 10. This is just a name. If I click in there to explore the configuration, let me just quickly show. Yeah, as you can see, when it comes to the assignment, I have assigned this particular policy for my device group called Windows 10. And basically the configuration settings I'm pushing or I'm kind of, you know, deploying to those devices are in here. There are a couple of policies, as you can see, let me just read one or two. Block Adobe Reader from creating child processes, as you can see, is blocked. And for, you know, for this lab, I have basically enabled every single rule, everything as block. Let me just double check if I have created any exception. Oh yeah, and then as you can see in here, because I detected the from the uh, actually from the reporting I'm about to show, I detected this particular process WAAPP agent is part of the Azure guest virtual machines have been blocked via um, ASR. And then this is why I created here an exception. I don't want ASR to block this particular process. And I have, you know, other things enabled here as well as the controlled folder access is enabled and I want to protect the C data and so on. But right now, let me concentrate on, as you can see, every single rule I have enabled as blocked. Okay, that's part number one. Now, just to kind of, you know, prove the success of this deployment, if I go over the, the reporting, reporting from the policy point of view, if I click on view report, I just want to kind of, you know, uh, prove to you my three Windows 10, Windows 10, 21, 10, 23, and 22. As you can see, all of them, they got, let's say successfully, they got all the ASR reporting. But that can be a little bit challenging because in order to deploy ASR, I can use, as you can see here, MEM or the endpoint, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. I can use Grow Policies. I can use the Configuration Manager and I can use Configuration Manager Tenant Attached. And in the worst case scenario, I could push these rules manually via PowerShell. And then it means if I don't, if I didn't get lost, there are at least, you know, five or six different ways to push ASR rules. And then the challenge is, okay, now how can I know from a single dashboard or from a single location, what are the devices protected via ASR and what are the devices, you know, from, from my tenant uh, who are kind of, you know, missing some configuration. Anyway, now in order for me to get a kind of tenant wide ASR report, the best place for me to go, as far the best place I know, is into the, again, I need to go back to security, 
www.microsoft.com and to be honest it's not too complicated and then if i go now here on the left over reports just click in there you know there are a bunch of reports i can i can go a device health and vulnerability device but right now let me concentrate over the asr or attack surface reduction rules if i click in here the first bit the detection is very useful especially when it comes if you are in a kind of early stages when deploying the asr and maybe you are not too sure about some processes that are or could be blocked via asr and then yeah that's the place for for you to start as you can see uh, here based on the date and uh the, the based on, on the date now i can see these are the processes blocked so far on my lab via asr the one i want to show is the office click to run.exe the other one is as i quickly told you before wa app agent this is a kind of azure and this one here actually is, is an important process to allow because if you are pushing the office installation via intune yeah basically the office click to run is the process used to do the installation and as you can see they are all blocked okay that's part let's say number one from the reporting you can get the second one and that is very useful especially if you are deploying asr as quickly i said via grow policy via system center via you know intune and so on if i click here that's a magic place for you to double check and now i have a proper x-ray on my organization first of all i can see there are basically four devices uh, or exposed devices because they don't have asr and then i have five devices where i uh, they are affected by asr rules in blocked mode okay uh, there are zero devices so far uh, where i you know could be pushing the asr in audit mode in warn mode as well and so there are four devices as well with no sr configuration at all this is why you know they are exposed yeah now the beauty of this uh, report i can see from here my server 2016-10 basically out of those 16 rules only 14 you know have been applied for this server again maybe you know this is what i've done on the grow policy configuration but i uh, here's the place you know to catch some mistakes from that configuration yeah here is a kind of bad news my server 2012-02 there are no rules at all assigned to that server server 2016-01 no rules at all and by the way if i want to identify now specifically uh, specifically on my server 2016-10 what are the rules enable or disable if i just click in here yeah there you go now quickly i can see all of these rules here have been configured uh, as block could be you know a warning only or audit in this case is block and you know this rule here and that one i haven't configured at all again you know maybe this is part of the project but otherwise i could easily now spot a mistake from the configuration now if i just close in here and explore one of those windows 10 as you guys can see now those windows 10 now they are getting the 16 rules from the asr configuration and same story if i click in there i can see yeah, everything in here is in a blocked mode those 16 rules okay are in here okay that's kind of you know the good news anyway before move on uh, as i told you at the beginning that's a really nice and easy way for you to have an x-ray from the whole let's say organization the whole device point of view what are the devices fully protected via asr especially in blocked mode maybe you know you are still testing in some devices this this is why you have enabled as audit uh, mode and could be a, a bad news from the security point of view easily you can identify the device with no asr rules at all okay the next step now if i go into here add exclusions okay uh, that's a nice place now where i can go first of all to identify exactly what is the process or the kind of you know exe file what's the full location in order to implement an exclusion as i was saying before the office click to run 
uh, could be very important, especially if you are pushing the Office installation via Intune deployment. Now, what I can do quickly is just, you know, select the, in this case, the Office, uh, click to run. There are some more information here I can check in, for example, in how many devices that process, you know, uh, have been blocked. But the most important, I would say the most important, you know, a very important thing is get the exclusion path. If I click in here, now there is a quick Excel CSV file. If I open that file, I can finally get exactly what is the, the location for me later on to go back into my policy and do this exclusion. Let me just zoom in a little bit in here. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. That's the path I need to, to grab in order to create exclusion. This is what I'm going to do now. Just let me quickly copy, okay, this information. And to be honest, from the reporting point of view, that's pretty much it. Okay, the three main options are, first of all, for you to identify any exe or, you know, any process that have been blocked via the ASR. The magic place is the configuration for you to get an X-ray. And eventually, if you need to exclude some of those process or exe, that's the place where you can get the, the full path. Okay, because I have the full path in hand already, now the kind of easy bit is let me go back to my endpoint.microsoft.com. Let me just start from scratch. If again, I click on endpoint security. Now let me go back to attack surface reduction. Just click in there. And then I need to dive into my policy that I have created already. Click in there. And then finally, I can go now here and edit the configuration. Here's the place to edit, you know, tag, edit the group, but let me concentrate on the configuration. If I click on edit in here, and now I have the option, hopefully in a few minutes it's coming. Yeah, there you go. Now I have the option basically to add that particular process as exclusion. Now there is something really nice Microsoft did a couple of months, you know, by the time I'm recording this video, before we didn't have the, the option to exclude a particular process on each individual rule. You know, we had the only option, what I did already, to come in here and exclude for every single rule. If I want to make sure that process, in this case here, the, let me just do a quick zoom here, Okay, if I want to make sure the office click to run is excluded from every single of those rules, yeah, that's the place where I need to come. Otherwise, I could exclude from a particular place. Only, you know, it's not the case, but just to, you know, provide a bit of information. Eventually, if I need to exclude that process specifically from the Adobe Reader from creating child domains, a, a child's processes, sorry, and then I could, you know, click in here and then eventually add that exclusions only for this first row. Okay, that's a really nice feature Microsoft added, you know, a couple of, a couple of months ago. Okay, that's all good. Now I could save the configuration and then could save one, oops, uh, save one more time. And now, of course, I need to give a bit of time for my uh, three Windows 10 to get this configuration. And then next time when I go back to the reporting, okay, should be all, all, all sorted. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share on my attack surface reduction implementation report video. If you enjoy, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.